Now, Terra Luna Classic is falling in price a little bit this morning, and it's got a lot of people, I guess, on the edge of their seats. And I want to discuss that a little bit in this video, because there's a couple reasons uh, a price falls down. And, and we saw Terra Luna Classic beginning to fall over the weekend, and I do want to say I noticed something. A lot of bears come out of nowhere when the price is falling. And they love to reiterate the fact that it's going to continue falling. That it's a scam, it's a fraud, and so on. But they've got their own agenda. They either want to buy it at lower prices, or they are shorting it and want to make money on the downside. Now guys, in this video, we're going to talk about this price action. And we're going to talk about why it is opportunity and not necessarily a problem. So if it sounds like something you're interested in... Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, <clears throat> you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade gets you $5 in free crypto. And if you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges, you've got KuCoin down in the description below where you guys can get Terra Luna Classic. So make sure to sign up there if you guys want to buy Terra Luna Classic on their platform. But we got a lot to discuss, so I want to jump right into it. <clears throat> I did notice a lot of the comments over the weekend on the videos on multiple platforms were bearish. And I believe that, yes, that coincides with the price action coming down. But there's a lot of people out there, guys, who are either hurt because they bought some sort of a crypto and it did turn out to be a scam or, or what. I will say this. Terra Luna Classic is not a scam. It is risky, it is volatile, but it is not a scam. If you understand what you are investing in, and you see the Terra Luna Classic was, was a failed project. When Do Kwon could not keep UST pegged by using Luna Classic, what he did was he abandoned it and left. And after it fell down from $100 plus dollars per coin to basically nothing, lunatics, you know, these, these, I mean, that's what they're calling themselves, right? Lunatics come in and we rebuild this project into what the community desires. Now, this is the cleanup stage, right? We have to make sure that we've got the, the staking re-enabled so people can make decisions. We have to make sure that we burn the supply of Terra Luna Classic. Otherwise, we're going to be left with trillions and trillions throughout eternity. <clears throat> so right now, we are in the rebuilding stages. And I have said, it is an extremely volatile coin. Terra Luna Classic goes up, it goes down. It never just moves in one solid direction. And when it does move, it moves big. So if you can't handle the swings, if you can't handle the dips, there's no shame in that. Okay, some people are more conservative than others, and, and you have to make a decision at that point. Do you get out completely? Do you allow what to ride that you are willing to let ride? By and meaning maybe you don't take such a large position in Terra Luna Classic. If you believe in its future, you know, you have to be able to, to stomach the, the changes in price along the way. So keep that in mind. But what we have here, guys, is, is kind of what I expected to be taking place. But I expected it to happen a little bit sooner. So I believe it was last week sometime, <clears throat> shortly after staking was re-enabled, there was going to be that kind of buffer period between staking re-enabling on Terra Luna Classic and the burn tax being implemented on Terra Luna Classic. And I believe that's kind of the frustration that we're feeling right now in the price action. We don't have a major catalyst until September 20th. And when September 20th arrives, here's the thing that we're going to need to keep in mind. That 1.2% burn tax on the Terra Luna Classic blockchain is, is going to be one of two things. It's going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event, or it's going to be a major catalyst to drive Terra Luna Classic higher. Now let's look at both of these situations here. If it's a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event, <clears throat> we may have all of the, the traders that are out there buying and selling and taking advantage of the volatility in Terra Luna Classic. They may sell off because they don't know what the future holds with burn taxes. 
Nobody knows what the future holds, but they do know that Catalyst is going to excite people. So therefore, they're simply taking advantage of that event. Now, let's say that the burn tax does come in, and they do hold. And all of a sudden, Terra Luna Classic begins to burn billions per day, as opposed to millions per day. If they see this happening, if they see that there is a glimmer of a hope, that we can absolutely reduce the supply of Terra Luna Classic from the trillions back down to the billions. It is going to be a massive, massive move and a very positive sign. Now, in my own opinion, I don't think that it's going to be that simple. What I think is going to take place, and this is, I, I can't reiterate this enough, just my thought on the situation. I believe we're going to need to wait until after the burn tax takes place to get any sort of a justification or numbers that we can use to determine how quickly Terra Luna Classic supply will be reduced. For example, if the 20th comes around and it's a massive volume day, we've got a lot of people excited and a lot of on-chain activity and we burn a lot of Terra Luna Classic. That number will settle down as time goes on. As people kind of lose that excitement a little bit and volume falls, we're going to need an average volume to multiply by that 1.2% burn tax so that we can see just how quickly we can drop the, the supply of Terra Luna Classic. Now, if it comes out, September 20th is nice, and all of a sudden these, these exchanges still aren't on board with burning the 1.2% Terra Luna Classic on their exchange transactions, you know, it's going to be it's going to be difficult, right? It's going to mean that things will be slower than uh, I guess originally anticipated. <clears throat> but what we're going to end up with is is the community's choice. If you are using one of those exchanges, do you continue to support their decision? And if the Terra Luna Classic community withdraws all of their Terra Luna Classic from those platforms, and moves to a platform that does allow those burns. Even if you are not buying and selling on a regular basis, if they see that massive amount of support from the Terra Luna Classic Army or the Terra Luna Classic Lunatics that are out there, moving from one exchange to another, that's all they want, man. They want your money, they need your money, and they thrive on that money. So right now, these exchanges are beginning to think, okay, if we can undercut our competitors by 1.2%, more people will trade with us because they can make 1.2%. Well, hey, you don't have to be an active trader. If you're holding your Terra Luna Classic on their platform and boom, you take it from them, that's devastating to them. They don't have that money to hold anymore. And if you're taking it and giving it to their competitor who is supporting that 1.2% burn tax, that is going to be devastating for those platforms. And I, I think it would only be a, a period of time before they would jump on board and, and also support what the Terra Luna Classic Army wants to see and the lunatics want to see out there. So guys, get your comments down below. And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And don't forget, you guys got Weeble. You're getting twelve to uh, 6 to 12 free stocks, sorry. You got KuCoin where you can buy Terra Luna Classic. You've also got a free Discord in the description. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.